I found that that the men and women who got to the top were those who did the job they had in hand with everything they had of energy and enthusiasm and they are the one that did the hard work. If a mistake is not a stepping stone, it is a mistake. So today we will be talking about how to know our purpose. How to know your purpose, that will be our topic today. Because if you are not set up, you will not be upset. And so if you are not upset, you will not be lifted up. So you have to have somebody or something that ignites you to be yourself, that will make you to move forward. If something is not pushing you, sometimes you feel reluctant to push yourself. That's why it is very good for you to be set up so that you will be upset. And when you are upset, they will be lifted up because you will not know how to climb the ladder. So that is it. That is the way it goes. So because we need enemies because they help us to pray. They help us to walk and they help us to focus. Knowing that they are there, we make you to know that I cannot fail. In anything I'm doing, I will not fail. I cannot fail because when I fail, there are people around that will laugh at me. There are enemies around that will say, hey, didn't we say it? We knew that it will not amount to nothing. We knew that it was just starting it, that it will get to nothing. That is the reason why you don't have to stay behind. That is the reason why you will not allow your enemies, even your friend's friend's enemy, to laugh at you. That is the reason why you have to buckle up your shoe. You understand? Because it is not how we started that counts. It is how we finish. Starting is always difficult for some people. But that's not the case. That's not the matter. How we started doesn't count. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't mean nothing. But it's the end that tells. It's how you finish. That tell yourself every day. It's how you finish that matters. That is the reason why it's good for you to tell yourself every day that I am the ample of God's eyes. Because if you remember that you are the apple of God's eyes, you will not be able to make any mistake. You have to tell yourself that I, I am his most treasured, most prized possession. Because if you know you are valuable, you will not do rubbish, you will not do nonsense. You will always position yourself in a way that when people see you, they will know that ah, this person, this man, this woman is a woman of value. Then you will say to yourself that you are crowned with glory and honor, that you are valuable, that you are attractive. Don't allow anybody to bring you that to say you are fat, you are you are ugly, you are black, you are because black is beautiful. The black lives matter as well. We matter. So make yourself to be relevant in your family, in your community, in your in your churches, in your school, in your working place. Everywhere you go, make yourself to be available. I have a bright future in front of me. That's what you have to say to yourself every day. Don't look at your age because age is just a number. What you have not been able to do since you were born, it can just take you in a twinkle of an eye, you will be able to do it. You just have to be positive in everything that you are doing. You have to say to yourself that you have a bright future in front of you. Say to yourself that you are gifted that you are talented, that people like you. Don't have that negative uh, uh, perception about yourself, saying oh, people don't like me, anything I do, people don't like to come to me, people don't. When you have that self-negative image, it also tells on you, it parts on you, it makes you to feel boring, and people that sees you, they will not really, because you have already put it in your mind, in yourself, in your spirit, that people don't like me, that's how you will be feeling, which is not correct get it so you have to state to yourself that you are a talented human being that people like you that i have the favor of god as the way i have the favor of god i also have the favor of men because as god, as far as god has favored you may we always favor you as well according to joshua chapter 5 verse 9 say you have the favor of god so we have to pray this prayer always it's what i always do i pray for myself i pray for my children i pray for my siblings I pray for my good friends that, dear Lord, help me to remember that who I am in my family, in my society, among my friends, 
in my community, everywhere I step my feet to, is probably the most important who I am. Because we know, and I know, that is able, more than able, to accomplish what concerns me today.